I bet you ain't know I could hoop. I could hoop, rap, wrestle, anything you 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 can think of, I can do it. I'm gonna run this back in your head. Yeah, yeah, should be. I used to cross niggas up, <laughs> score the ball hitter. To all the folks that don't know, it's the young goat. It's the young goat. Yeah. yeah. We in the sky boss, yeah. Smoking on play in the Ross, ayy. Middle strip down to the sauce, ooh, ayy. Smash me head to white meat. World on fleet. Shoot at a buckle that's Tony Meeks. I'm so hot, that's for the heat. Yeah. My hands in the ass at the meet and greet. The fuck with the vibes and flee the scene. When I'm shooting my shot, that's how I spring. Yeah, you know I stay on the winning team. Money and me, the dream team. They calling me Winnie, just falling your head. Grinding big times in the film, stay fit. Yeah, mm -hmm. So the family said fair with nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got some big homies that do what I say. All of my brothers are serving a race. Can't leave the venue without getting paid. For the short amount of people that don't know me, it's the young goat, the fireman, hot fire Myron Reed. Now it don't matter which moniker you use, if you use all three or if you use two or one, just know who it is. So I started this wrestling shit. A long, long time ago, honestly, like, my great-grandmother, you know, got me into wrestling. I remember watching The Rock on TV. I remember having SmackDown just bring it when I was like five, four or five years old and playing the video game on PS2 and shit like that. And uh, she passed away when I was about, I don't remember if it was five, six, maybe seven years old. And, you know, like, for some reason, I just, fell in love with it even more. I felt like it was my duty to love it even more. I told myself when I started doing this shit, I wanna be my own boss. I wanna motivate and inspire people. So I would run my own little backyard companies. I would edit the videos, write the script, do all this extra shit. People thought it was lame, but they don't understand that those are steps you take in, in being something bigger and better in life, you know? And I feel bad for the people that, you know what I'm saying, thought the shit was lame because now I mean, a lot of the people that thought it was lame, you know, where are they working at now? What are they doing? Are they following their dreams? Are they are they getting paid to, to live their dreams? No, I'm an artist. My goal is to make what people perceive of wrestling different. I want people to love this and, and think this shit's cool as, as basketball, football, soccer. Cause people, people tend to think, though, this is fake and lame, but like want, want to watch movies. So I told myself, this is this shit's not impossible. You know what it is. We're gonna start this off with some heat. You know, new shirts in. I got new shirts in. I'm gonna put one of these boys on right now. New shirts in. These, these are fire. I got black too. The black don't have the flames and stuff like that. The black one's more basic than this. But it's dope though too. Like, I'm, I'm gonna sell it out of it. But, uh,. Um, in the description below, I got all forms of uh, social media. So, you know, just hit me up on one of those and get you a shirt. I ship all that stuff. I, mean, I got a lot of these goddamn things. I got a bunch of these. So hit me up. I got, I got a bunch of them. You feel me? Uh... What? You hit that shit? Good. Mm -hmm. I like to talk my shit in TK, so I made sure I was like, cool, I'm gonna make me, I'm gonna make a build, and I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna look on YouTube for the build, I'm gonna make it how I actually play in real life. So I'm gonna show you some clips of me playing basketball, and then I'm gonna show you the last two minutes of this game, I think it was like an invitation or whatever, and it's, it's, it's a prelude to get into the NBA or whatever, but, you know, I ain't had no badges, 60 overall, whatever it may be, the lowest I can be, but, you know, I was out here chewing brought my team back and you know how I do so go watch I'm about to show you these last little clips you know it's got a nice little commentary on it it's got a nice little commentary on it and we we're gonna roll out so check this shit out yeah okay. hey man yo yo I'm about to go smoke do your thing do your thing bro alright bro bro I'll talk to you later no alright that's alright alright Red nigga, three um.
Yes. Good. Let's go. He missed. Blue it. Good. Let's go. On automatic. <laughs> hey, miss. Hey. He ate some lunch right there, boy. He ate dinner. Oh yes, that was lit. Yeah. I've been currently on fire. It, 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 it used to be hard, but now it's just it, it's just too easy. So on another note, if you have not checked out Bangers Forever, it's on this point. It's on Spotify. It's on YouTube. It's on SoundCloud. It's on Apple Music. Anywhere you can find it, it's on it. Go listen, go stream it. Fire. The Deluxe is coming soon, so why wouldn't you listen to the regular album? The Deluxe is on its way, I got that in the works now, it's gonna be heat, blabber rock, everything is hot, literally. I don't know, and there he is! Myself and Blake Christian had a freaking banger at uh, GCW in Indianapolis, it was June 20th. Another risk here. Oh my oh, fucking god! We're the top rank. Also, you know, while we're here, make sure you go check out my boy Jack Andrews show. It's fire, bro, and I'm about to show you some clips of this shit because it's, it's heat. <laughs> it's your boy, cozy boy, Jack Andrews. I'm gonna be talking about a lot. I'm going to be talking about the future, the past, the present, video games, comic books, food. You'll laugh, and when you laugh, the whole world will start crying. I'm going to give you something to go. Just so you know I mean business. <laughs> A lot of people don't know him like I know him. You know, I've been knowing this guy since 2012, and... He's just one of my good friends, and I, I understand him as a person more so than people do. And he's just a good dude, and, and he's, a, he's a motivated good dude that just wants the best for himself and everyone else. So go check it out. You can see me July 25th, Synergy, New Jersey. July 26th, I got two shows, GCW Homecoming, Night 2, Beyond. So you know I'm gonna be showing out all weekend. And I'm gonna have recaps and all that stuff for the next GOAT Talk show. And it's not even a talk show, it's just GOAT Talk. Because I'm just talking. I'm, I'm saying what I want to say and I'm adding clips in there. And hopefully y'all love this shit. Because it's gonna be fun. I got gray. I got black. Message me. DM me. Hit me up. All social media forms is in the description below. Get you a shirt. And be lit like me. So I'm gonna say thank you all for tuning in. Go uh, follow my dude, Jack Andrews, Chris Copeland. Listen to the album and do you and enjoy your day. And uh, stay positive and motivated. You feel me? Like, it's a lot of people that, that want to hate. Don't be one of those people. Live your dream, work hard, and strive. Whatever you love, go for that shit. Because I have people all my life tell me that the shit I do is lame. Look at me now. They congratulate you. What the hell are these three doing out here? With Conan and